Welcome to Reflection Deep and Check Shine. me out. Check me out. Hotch. We're ready. Oh, you sure? I'm never just gonna be that serious. So. Hi, y'all. This is Reflection Deep and Chef Ebony Rock's family travel vlog. And today, this is our part two because I did post yesterday. Ebony was without me. Ebony was in absence. She was out running errands. I was getting stuff for us. Okay. Doing. You could have waited. But you didn't even know the video came out. I did. You sent it to me. Right. Then I knew. So, as y'all, like, first of all, see the first video. I don't want to say too much here because y'all won't see the first one. So, go and see what I had to say. First but I have all, my... You didn't say who this is about. This is Easy X Natalie video. I was about to say that. Okay. Okay. I'm so, it's a part two. You're right. You're right. It's yeah. part two of Easy yeah. um, recent video. Um... It's called Why I Don't Like Her Brother. I can't do this anymore. And we understand why, but at the same time, we want to hear from you guys what you guys think. If you guys are easy and Natalie and the Project family. Well, let's uh, separate that. If you're easy supporters, you can okay. comment. If you're easy ex-Natalie supporters, of course you can comment. And then if you also like the family project, you can also comment. Because I feel like it's like you can't, can't put them all together. No, you because... can't. But I was going to say, if, like, if you're... If you're if you're like a fan of for the whole yeah, like, like if you thing, know everything that's if going you on. know everything that's going on and it's not like you just jumped in a few months ago you gotta be like die hard back when it was like pro pack but back like way back. back in the day back back like before kind of went quiet on social media and then you came back out with family project yeah so if you guys go that far back let us know and if you guys just jumping in getting the tea you know enjoy this conversation because this is going to be more like a conversation between like adult conversation um about kind of the status and relationships and dealing with with um family. family and relationships and once again i did give my one-sided um opinion um before even watching it and so i may say the same thing and i may not say the same thing so just enjoy this so we're gonna actually so we actually have an update as well we're gonna watch the video again but guess what easy posted some tweets yeah. and we know how natalie feels about the tweets the and she called them her twitter before, fingers she called yeah at one, one point in time she said she had twitter fingers and natalie doesn't like all that you know you know at the same time i understand she probably feels like it needs to be a little bit more self-control like don't run the social media um, but let me do, I, I will that? always comment because if you're on social media and that's how you're branding, that's how that's you're your making your money, that is what you're going to do. That is what you're going to resource. You're going to go to the thing that you do. Every time well, something's some good, you be... go to social media. Every time something's bad, you go to social media. When you fall in love and you want to tell the girl, you go to social media. So why did anybody think this would be any different? It's not going to be any different. And that's not faulting her. And that's this what she does. She's a content creator on YouTube. She's an actress. She's, she's an actress. So she, I mean, and I'm I'm not saying implying she's acting. I'm saying that's what she's gonna do with this. She she's, she's gonna go to social media. And what I said before in the video that that um, Easy is genuine, and so, and so she's is a Natalie. Taurus. She has no choice. I was gonna say she's team but to not Easy. Be. She's, she's a, a Taurus. Taurus. Taurus are amazing people. Until so she's we're pushed she's too genuine, far. and see yes. even behind the camera, she's still genuine. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think that's what makes this a, a, a decent now, conversation. I have to say something. Dang, I wasn't talking. You were talking. Because I have to say, <laughs> like, I do like both of the families. Now, Zasha and him and Zeta Kid sent my daughter a birthday shout out, a personal birthday shout out. Didn't have to. Um, I just asked for it and they did it and it made my daughter's whole day. So I do More than her respect name. that because they she didn't still have to talks do that. About it. Yeah, she's Azasha, uh, is an amazing. She's very yeah, down she seems to earth. She's very as well. approachable, very down to earth. She, I appreciate you know, that. She's a, she's a mom at heart. You yeah, know, but she, also Natalie and Easy also did. So I'm not like choosing sides here. I'm saying I understand it from both point of views. Being and I think yeah. that's what I did on my video. Yeah. I understand 
easy being upset because I get that. But I'm going to go a little bit further because okay. I have to say this. When I, I literally have been like following Easy since a couple girlfriends go, I don't even remember the girlfriend's name. Tall, um, light skinned chick with kind of curly hair. They must have lived in like a little apartment together. So I remember when that happened, and I remember she had kind of caught, she had kind of gotten down on herself, saying she didn't, you know, social media wasn't working for her the way she wanted it to, and she kind of went back to working. And then all of a sudden, she kind of went quiet a little bit on social media, and then she came back. On family projects, so you I give felt, them all to you. I'm you telling you, all of that. I felt like when that right. happened, that was her like rebirth, but that was also their birth, family projects birth, because without Easy already having established herself in the media world and with who she was and her sense of humor and all that other stuff, already having an establishment. I'm not, I wasn't huge, but I mean, if you knew Easy, you knew Easy. Most people in the LGBT community knew Easy, so. Um, I felt like, I felt like everything kind of started there with them right, working because, together, doing content together. Right, because businesses, you know, we talked about that before, you know, that, um, business relationship starts with collaborations. Mm -hmm. So the more that people get together, the more that everyone You bring different grows audiences together. to the same kind of content. So, so right. your audience comes to this, their audience comes to this. Especially being that, in LA, grows, you know, yeah. especially being in yeah. LA. So, so I feel like a yeah. lot of it is stuff that we don't necessarily know yeah. for sure of course obviously because we don't know what we're not told but i will say i feel like in the lgbt community most of us have put together what we think happened um based on again having watched from way back in the day you know if you've been paying attention i feel like everybody kind of knows what's actually happening whether or not she's talking about it out loud or not but and we may not go that far. Yeah, that's that's just like, tea. That's just that's like just yeah, that's way tea. Back. And yeah. I feel like because we are supporters, yeah, definitely. you know, uh, you know, I feel like the best information, source of information you get is from them directly. Like whenever they when they are when talking about certain talking things, about it, yeah. I know some people, some YouTubers can be very subliminal, and I think easy because she is genuine. She's not subliminal, but she's not being. She's not telling everything. She's not telling she's not everything, but she's, she's being honest about what is happening. She's, she's honest, honest about her feelings, but she's not disrespecting anybody. Which is crazy because she's been disrespected, and she's still choosing to not disrespect. She's anybody. always. She's just always. Seems she to always be the takes the high road. Yeah, she always takes the high road. That's the thing about Tauruses. No, for real, for real. Like that's I, a Taurus I, thing. I say all the time. I will. I hardly ever stoop down to anybody else's love. If I stoop down to your level, you have. It's pretty gutter. It's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> I, I read, I read y'all's readings for yeah. um, the next week the or whatever. Yeah, I listened I to the first. I listened to, you? I listened to the first half, okay. of it and I was like, yeah, that. Yeah, so and unfortunately, right. because you know, tourists or people take the high road all the time, there's only so much people can deal with. Whether or not it was a prank, and once again, I understand it from my own uh, past relationships and my family, and I also understand it from her perspective. I understand it, even Josh about it just being a prank but at the same time i feel like she we can't prank about something that's a sensitive topic yeah. you can't if you and i have had issues with whatever you can't do a prank about this thing and then just expect the prank to blow over as if ha 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 it's a prank and then now i'm calm if we have real life issues that circulate like, like if i that, say if know, i say like oh she's crazy she's a psycho yeah but I'm you and cry. i in real life are having issues with you calling me crazy or yeah. want to check me into the hospital you know whatever Same and crazy then you stuff. do a prank and then that's the prank then that's not really a prank because i know that outside you know off the camera this is a real issue but i also know that the prank is supposed to be that way and if you notice all of his <clears throat> all of his pranks like when he pranked zay and Zay was in the trunk, and he was saying all the things that was that's true. He, oh, he plays Call of Duty, or he plays GTA, or and but it and was less he think personal. He's good, it was but less personal. It was, it, it was was very it was personal. It was, he was like, oh, I'm Zay kid, or he says something about his hygiene. He was, he was mainly yeah, he be, be talking about and, his hygiene, and because he is a teenager, and that's kind of like what kids kind of experience. But the difference the is, stage. if Five Easy and Josh have had their fallout and they've been unamended for at least a year, a year and probably some change, then you should not choose to use this person as a prank source in your video. I also, okay. again, I love the no, no, no. but I'm no, going to say this. Right, I'm going to say cause this. Because she did say when we, when, they first, when we first saw the prank, we saw the prank late at night, yeah. and it kind of rubbed her the wrong way, I think, or something like that. You yeah. turned up the TV. She was like, hmm. But she said, like, why didn't she prank? Why didn't he prank Natalie? 
Because the, the truth the was, easy. what Josh should have done, what he should have pranked his sister. Because wanted, easy, that, that would have been the only because way Because Natalie answers her phone on Bluetooth, so mm-hmm. it would have been even, it would have been funnier. Yeah. Because she answers but on he, Bluetooth. But he did it to, to easy, and I do feel like because there's some underhanded, <clears throat> you know, beef going on there. I do feel like, and again, this is just my opinion based on my observation at my lovely age of things. I feel like he's more, you know, it was just the three of them. And he's kind of probably taken on more of a father figure role with his sisters. And all older brothers are always like super uh, over their baby sisters. And so he probably feels like a level of trying to protect her and tell her what to do. And maybe again, growing up, maybe that's kind of how it was. But... That's not how it should be anymore. But I did, when I watched the video, I said, he should have pranked Natalie. He shouldn't have done easy. Yeah. Because there's there's beef there. For, and for whatever reason, we don't all know it, but they know it. So the person but at you the pranked should have been your sister. I get that, but at the easy. same time, I can't prank that same group of people twice. You can't, but this, you know is, what this mean? is the thing. So, so for him, I feel like he I was think. trying to go just for the, you know, the juggler. I'm going to really. tell you what he was trying to do. And again, this is with all love, because again, they've been supportive of my kid and I appreciate it. But what, what he was trying to do was go after the one that was going to... Get the most views, maybe, yeah. or, or, or That's or what the I most feel. Hype, I maybe? feel like it was going to... Which one would have oh. brought more attention to the fact? Because the truth is, my mom always says, whether it's good attention or bad attention, it's, it's just attention. So sometimes people want bad attention, but it's still attention. It's and still, I still don't... But he's, but and the thing was, he still wasn't malicious at that point. He was no, only... He was setting up the prank the way it needed to be set up. But I don't believe he was just like saying it... Because he wanted to get a rise out of her in real life, it was a prank that was. It was. But the truth is, we don't know. They could have just had an argument the night before. We don't really know, because I, I feel like calling her saying she looked like a pit bull. I feel like that was like, I was like, oh wait, what did he just say? Like those are things that you can't say. Oh, I was just pranking you. <laughs> Though if you're talking about my even, physical I don't appearance, even see that. <laughs> no, but if you're talking about my like, physical what? appearance. That's not necessarily something you can say. Because even, it's even happened with Easy and Natalie. When she wrote the letter, you know, like she was writing the letter to her old boyfriend. And what she did was she like, say? But Easy was like, you know, you Easy. said this stuff. She's like, you always talk about my pants. You really must feel this way. Because oh, she you, wore the same pants? Yeah, so it's the same thing I where if there's a real issue within that space, you can't joke about it and then expect the person not to feel serious about it. <laughs> and even worse, if this is somebody who there's beef in between y'all, why would you perpetuate it? So I don't think it was strictly for like clout or for views, but I do feel like it was like that. Otherwise, why didn't you do your sister? Well, yeah, like you said, I mean, I, you know, some people do things for clout. And, I mean, he doesn't and that wasn't what it was. It, so but what I, it does is it does bring Easy's audience to his page to see what everybody's talking about. Then once you go to his page, then they start recommending other stuff from their page. And it's, you know the cycle. But you know Y'all what I, know I, the I said I was going to say this. Yeah, yes. Y'all know. Right. Because so now, right now, you can type in easy. There. You can type in easy right now. And, now and his this, video, and their comes video up second. will come up second. What he should have done. Was at the prank, at the prank, say it was a prank, and also give her a gift, like a, a olive branch, and say, hey, look, I want us I want us to squash the beef. Like, I want us to work on things, talk about things. Now, that, that would have been, been nice. Good to because really, that also would have brought the attention. So mature. That would have that brought the attention. It, that that would have brought everything full circle. And there yeah. are pranks, like, I'm not even going to name the other people who, like, they'll, like, he did this. He pranked her about breaking up with her on Valentine's Day. And it was horrible. And then he took her on a shopping spree. And he had planned this trip. They were going the next day. And so it it kind of softens the blow of yeah. such a horrible, emotionally driven yeah. like prank. Like we just watched another YouTuber. Um, her girlfriend uh, cut off her headphones, but she bought her AirPods. Yeah, but you bought. So yeah, to have done it, and then you can't just. Say, it's a prank. And the truth is, y'all know there's real beef. So that I feel like that that would have been a better solution and be like, you know what? Yeah, it's to been bring a lot of an olive branch. It, it was a joke, but I just want to you know hug it out. That would have totally. It would have still got the audience. It would have still... Easy's audience would still be softer. It would still bring the views. Right. It would still bring the attention. Because now it was just a divide. And unfortunately, my girl Natalie is the one in the middle. Like, and always. I feel so bad for her um, because... But that's, that's the second thing. So, we're going to get off of Josh. And we're going to talk about Natalie because, you know, Natalie is the most... And what I said in my earlier video is that she's just so grounded spiritually. Mm-hmm. So, at the same time, what does not feel right... Probably bothers her internally, so now she's in the middle and she's like, "What can I do?" Because I'm pretty sure she's never been in that in this situation before, where it's her, her, her. I want to say family, even though it's not the whole family, but it's her brother, brother, her brother, her, and the person she's in a relationship with. Yeah. And I. Th- well, first of all, 
why does he have this much of an opinion about the person she's dating? Because the truth is, even if she was dating a guy, which she's dated guys before, was was he this much involved in what was happening in her love life, like to this extent? I, I mean, feel like was the boyfriend as present as? Because you know, some not. people date right, probably but not. that makes a difference because when you date somebody, right, you can date somebody, talk to them on the phone, or go see them, yeah, and they're not around your family. And that person doesn't have much of an opinion when you're not around them. But, but I feel like a brother around, like that's going to have an opinion no matter what. A, a brother who's kind of been raised more as the man of the house and the, not the father, but like the father figure over the sisters. I feel like he's always going to have an opinion of whomever you date. But the thing is Right, because at the same time, we always feel like somebody, we always feel like the person we with, like they deserve the best. But they and, do. And, but and this and is easy, the thing. It's, it's not up to you to determine what is the best. For them. Especially, that would be especially like especially Natalie not having an you. issue with Zasha. And coming right. at Zasha. And being disrespectful to Zasha. He, you wouldn't stand for that. And, and nor is and, it her and place if you to ever saw the prank, And if you ever saw the pranks between where where Josh or uh, uh, Zasha was pranking Natalie. Natalie respectfully still mm-hmm. is just nice and just careful with her words you remember the one yeah she's very she was supposed to have know, decorated the kids about her. Mm-hmm. yeah her words and she was still like trying to be but nice that's what you're supposed to do because that's the person your person your brother has chosen and your job is to not necessarily like them because you want to date them your job is to respect them because your brother or sister is so we might we might be spending a lot of time on this because it's only a nine minute video oh my like God. my video ended up being almost 30 minutes but this is good um, stuff like I got to say some more because it's on my mind. <laughs> so, because I want to say this. And um, I really commend Natalie for this being her first lesbian relationship and holding up easy publicly, you know, with respect and, and value. Because, you know, she does, they do the PDA. She sits on her lap. They kind of talk about intimate conversations. You know, she's kissing her, calling her baby. So she is. she's, she's showing, come a long way. She from is, that. yes. Yeah. But she's showing people I love her. This is my no person. No matter what. No matter what. You know, what. I care about her. And that's commendable. Yeah. But what I have to say is there has to be a breakdown between what we see for the couple minutes that we see it and what's happening with the brother. And this is what I was telling her earlier. I said, the problem is when you give somebody an inch, they're going to always take a mile. So if ever you allow somebody to be disrespectful to your person, to say something they shouldn't say, to, you know, kind of be hurtful and maybe, oh, just can't take it back. Every time you allow them this space to be disrespectful, because that's not their person and they don't have to care the way you do and they, they don't care the way you do, mm-hmm. they're going to always just kind of keep edging and edging and how much more can they go, especially if they have an issue with the person. Now, to be honest with you, again, if you guys watch back this tea over the years, why he has an issue with Easy is absolutely crazy to me. I have my own opinion about it because I'm like, they were really close at some point. I mean, some of their pranks were pretty frisky. You know, um, so I'm like, well, what's your what's your real issue? If y'all were this close where y'all were like thick as thieves at some point, what really happened that caused you to feel this way about this person that you knew this closely? And this is and this is the thing. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop you right there only because. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna second that only because it doesn't matter if you have a best friend, right? And that your best friend decides to date your sister, right? Mm-hmm. You only know them as a friend or a best friend. You don't know them in a relationship. You don't know them intimately. Yeah. You don't know them intimately. And at the same time, I can understand him. Josh is, is apprehensive because he's like, "Well, I don't want her to be hurt. I don't want it to Nobody mess up the dynamic." No, I mean, especially the business hurt. dynamic. Like, you might it might mess up the business dynamic. What if it don't work? What about the, so then at the same time? But what about that for him? He's got children with a woman he's not married with and doing business with her. They could they could still have the same dynamic. No, now no, you got no. Three kids You're between right. y'all. You're right. And a business. Right. But, but I guess again, I, I guess I should never went that far. But at the same time, all I'm saying is, if what Josh, what you see or saw in Natalie, or easy. saw it easy, yeah. is not the same as a relationship. A relationship is something they have to, to see they have to easy. nurture. Yeah, and it's separate from your relationship. And we all have forms of relationships. And it's separate and you're from just your a, perspective of yeah. what you see. Yeah, of it's, course, it's yeah. different than what's actually happening within their relationship. Mm-hmm. So. You know, because I, I mean, at the same time, you can be best friends with somebody and they're a player. You know, they talk to girls, mm-hmm. they they do what they want to do. They kind of they're they're free, but then when they get into a relationship, they may that, settle down and it they, may be different than what you've seen and or expect of them. But that's for them to explore. That's I guess that's them. what I'm saying. That's yeah, all. That's, that's their that's their journey. 
Just like everybody And just be supportive of your sister. Yeah. Because if you love her no matter what, what she does doesn't matter. Well, what she does doesn't matter. And if she's happy, that is the goal. Yeah. You know, happiness is the goal. Nobody's saying that a relationship's going to be perfect. It's not. They're going to fuss. They're going to argue. Them being lesbians and doesn't change the fact that they're still normal people. They're going to have hard days. They're going to cry. They're going to laugh. They're going to do everything that normal relationships do. Yeah. But your job is just to want the happiness for your sister. And the thing about it is, if you're the only person bringing her unhappiness... You have to stop to evaluate why you're okay with doing that. If somebody's making her happy, why are you not happy that she's happy? This is such a tourist right here. I bet it's the it, truth. I, hopefully, Easy and Nally watches it's this. It's the truth. Because, I mean, with all <laughs> Nally's, respect, uh, Easy's going to be like, exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. It, it's, it's so true. Exactly. But and, and I'm going to go a step further and say this. Natalie has to always, and this is a, a quote that I think I said to you the other day, and I did, I sent this to Natalie yesterday. I said, don't let your family F up your family. Because the truth is, as we grow through life and you're growing in relationships, mm-hmm. your the dynamic of your family is going to change. So you're going to always have your mom, Even though that's you're going to always family. have your siblings. Mm-hmm. Your dynamic of your family is going to change. Don't let nobody ruin the dynamic of your family and I, even and, family and i t- also told her when she said that i said you know the the thing about her being in the middle is that the people that she's that she's she's her first set of family she was born into it's this one family. family that's her family. first and then she has someone that was uh first she collaborated with friend best friend and lover. Now lover it's mm-hmm. now three on almost three plus years yeah. and so the way that it feels like a rock and a hard place, you feel like it's a rock and a hard place. It's like you have a family that I've been with my entire life. But guess what? That loves and support me. Let me go. And, and 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 people just kind of feel like they don't like taking sides, and I understand not taking sides. But this sides. is the thing, though. This is the problem that most people don't consider. There's no side to take. Okay. This is your family forever because you were birthed into this family, and this is the family you've chosen. Because you love them and you want more from them. Mm -hmm. There's no choice in choosing. And anybody who's trying to make you choose, that's their issue, not yours. And until you realize that, because guess what? This this person who birthed you is going to always be. It's the truth. And at the same time, I'm a middle. But this is the problem. People Mm -hmm. feel like I'm in the middle because I want to just diffuse it. I want to be a peacekeeper. Guess what? Peacekeepers are traditionally unhappy and not peaceful because they're sabotaging and sacrificing their peace for somebody else's truth 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 so listen you don't have to choose you have to let them know that you're not going to choose but that this is who makes you happy and you have to uphold and uplift and respect and value that relationship all the time but at the same time i know josh is like i was just joking i'm I'm pretty sure at this point it's like day four and i bet he's like i was just joking why is this all so necessary i was joking i think josh knew to be honest on some level it would do this because it's easy and easy is very well known in the social media world i think he knew on some level it was going to do this it was going to upset her or upset or cause an over Mm -hmm. I think he knew it was going to upset her. I just don't think he knew she was going to get that upset. I do think he knew. Because even during one part of it, he said... Well, I guess at the same time... He said, said, I know... He said, I know uh, Easy's going to be mad. He's like, I think Natalie's going to be mad too, but I think Easy's going to be more mad. He said this during the prank when when, um, when Easy hung up. He didn't realize that she had hung up. He kind of said that. You know, I wonder who's tripping out more. Who's more mad about it? You know, because Natalie didn't know that he was doing the prank. Well... Natalie was again trying to diffuse it. But I felt like is, that. I felt like at the same time, Natalie should have known, because I felt like that would have helped. That it would be no diffusing. No, she, Natalie should she not known have known. A, no, Natalie she would have. If she would have known, she would have like. She would have been like, okay, as soon as she got to the door, she wouldn't have let it have gone that far. She would have been like, it was a prank. I know about it. Yeah, but that's. I think that's and kind then, of what he and, wanted. And then Natalie would never went to the camera because now she feel like it's just she got to say what she got to say. Nobody understands and nobody listens. Nobody's listening. Mm. But if Natalie would have said, hey, it was a prank. I already knew about it. I already knew who was going to say it. I don't know because if I knew that my person knew that they were going to prank me like that and they know the real the, the real Background story behind the story, the story right? I'd probably be less trusting of that person who knew and thought this was okay. Because there's something that somebody said I want to do to you and, and I know that you know it's, it's your worst fear in the world. They say I want to prank her with her worst fear in the world. I say no. 
No, we'll find something else. Because if I allow them to prank you with this and you know that I knew, how much less everything would you feel about me because I allowed it? I, I, I can see that. Yeah, so no. I'm glad Natalie That's didn't true. know. I'm very glad That's that true. Natalie didn't know, but it sh should have pranked your sister. That would have been more along the lines of what you were doing with Zay the Kid and everybody else. And because it Easy, still, Easy still would have been in the video. And yes, yeah, still would have been Easy there, but it would have been directed at her yeah. again. And if there's already animosity and there's already, you know, I mean, I feel like Christmas as far as Christmas because they everything was a lot better. Because if you once again, if you guys it's have so been nice following to it see, before you, you know, Christmas, it was it was Natalie's birthday. Yeah, and the awkwardness with them being at the table. It's always with Easy awkward. and Josh. <laughs> ever but, since they yeah. exchanged, it's been this. They're close. This but is weird tension they're both that you really can quiet see. and separate. Yeah. And normally they're like, "Hey, buddy, but it's just so vibrant with life, and she's funny." Yeah, and it's so weird to see her to see quiet her so in that. Subdued. In that space. I hate it every time she's around, and I'm like, "Oh, it just as a person, not even as a person on social media, just as a person, I'm like, dang, that must be a really difficult place to be to feel the way you feel, and then you're in front of a camera trying to be okay." You know, and then the camera goes off, but you know what's really happening, even when the camera goes off. So again, I think it's like one of those situations where, and, and, and as you said it, I think about now. I'm pretty sure that's why she picked up the camera because yeah. before she wasn't able to talk about it outwardly, mm -hmm. and then that's when she went to Twitter. So if her outlet is social media, social media, or and again, I don't think she did anything wrong or not that anybody's opinions matter. I just think that that's just her way of, you know, it's like being a news reporter. Like you talk about things that's happening, you might you talk record. about things that's yeah, happening exactly. to you. You just recording behind. It's like the, if you're a songwriter and, and your life's going jacked up, you're gonna write a song. Yeah. You know, it's okay. kind of that's it's, your. It's thing. the part of artistry. Yeah, that's guess. your creative yeah. way that you, that you you know you you handle things. So I could see that. I could see that. Um, so do you think we should still watch the video? No, because I don't I, think we necessarily need to watch we the don't video. Need to, I, but we do want to let you guys know what else you got something to say. I'm sorry. Um, I think I want to say to everybody again i i'm not taking sides as like because there's no sides to take i'm talking from a person of my age who's been on the other side of it because i was the person in the middle being disrespected um by the person's family and they didn't really know what to do and you're just left stewing in this hurt because you feel hurt because your person isn't defending you the way that you feel that they should they're not standing up for you the way that would feel good to you. And that doesn't mean that they're going against this. They've just never been in that position before or to know. But I understand so. that. I do understand never being in the position, but that's just like anything you've never done, there's always going to be a first time for it. But the thing is you have to learn like how to like make sure your person knows that they're number one. And that doesn't mean that your family's number two. That means if you and I have chosen this road and this path together, you're my ace. You're you're it. So we're gonna be thick as thieves right no here. What, yeah. And then we're gonna be close with everybody else around us, right? But we are a union and a unit together. And then we move outwardly, to, you know, to other people. But if anybody knows that there's that space where they can wedge their foot in, say this disrespectful thing, and then everybody just kind of doesn't say nothing, or you don't say nothing. I mean, we don't know who's saying what because I feel I like I feel like if you're, if you're a diffuser, would be okay with it. If no, because if you're a diffuser, then you're you're just trying to say like Natalie said in the car. Oh, he wasn't talking about you. Mm -hmm. He don't even know he's talking about you. He's not talking about you. Oh, he didn't really mean that. Oh, just hang up. That's all. You know, that's what I always tell her. That's like sticking your head in the sand when it's a sandstorm. It doesn't mean the storm isn't happening around you. True. Okay. It doesn't mean that the storm is not even still happening. That just means you don't want to look at it. But the truth is, until you look at things the way that they are, you actually won't deal with them the way that they are. Y'all see how she riding my hair like I'm a horse? <laughs> my, yeah, you you know, to, my head is like moving back sorry. and forth, y'all. Yeah, you have to. She's a little serious. You have to deal with things that are happening. But and I do Avoiding like them and evading them. Does not make them it, not it happen, and, and that's true enough. Cause um, I've been in that situation, unfortunately, even with Ebony in my family. So, and this is why I say, you know, but Natalie being in that position, and I said this in my other video a little bit. So a little bit about what I said in the early video, and you guys still gotta go watch it, okay? Um, is that because she is, like I said, she is harmonious. I'm pretty sure. When she married the, yeah, mm -hmm. Natalie, when she made the decision uh, to, to, to see, to explore her lifestyle with 
easy mm-hmm. that she probably I'm pretty sure she set some boundaries because I can this, this the thing about it is she that when people came together she set the boundary by moving she set the boundary by moving okay. that's what set the precedence for okay I'm grown you know I can, make I can my own do decisions. this on my own I'm independent I can live on my own my girlfriend can come over she it's almost like having here. a parent in the house like yeah. living with your parents yeah so and that, I feel like that's and you're not allowed to bring your friends yeah or now because if you're gay straight you know other people that's not in your life style if that's not lgbt yeah it's like your friend your little friend your mm-hmm. friend so instead of the respect of who of, they actually are yeah so mm-hmm. i can understand why she did what she and that even easy was just so proud of her you know she goes i'm so proud of you um, yeah that was a big taking, move you know, i even said to her i said from the outside looking in again knowing but not knowing you know knowing through my own life experience and history i'm like okay that that was a move right there that was a I'm that was i gotta down, do what i need to get my independence and, completely. and you but what happens from that is he will see her differently he will understand and respect her but that's why differently but that's why the events and the parties and everybody's birthday came and they all were in the same space because, because they you have no choice come in but my to space. be yeah right. if you come into my space and you're going to respect my person that's here yeah, yeah. it puts the whole different tone yeah on the respect that you're demanding without having to say anything. And, and I feel like that's what she did. She did know? do it. Um, she did do it. And I'm very proud but, of her. And, and I, I also, even told her, I'm really mm-hmm. proud of her for mm-hmm. what she has done. All she has to remember is, and th- this is what I will say about watching the video, um, when Easy was turned up at the door, you know, in Josh's face, and Josh was trying to say, it's a video, it's a video, it's a video. Natalie was in Easy's face. Eventually, you know? toward the end, I she saw that. She was putting her hand in Easy's face and trying to tell her to calm her down. Let's go truth was she should have said something to her brother and this is what i said to her i said you're always approaching of course we don't know what was said we don't know what was said after or or, or, you know what was edited from it but i was gonna say because if it's his prank his video whatever she says he could have edited edited that out he could have edited that but her conversation should have been to her brother even in that moment because that would have made Easy feel supported. It would have made her feel understood. It would have made her feel loved. And it would have showed Josh that I stand here with her as my person. And, you, you know, and you're wrong for you that. You were wrong for this. You shouldn't have done it. It, it, was it a went prank. too far. You shouldn't have done it. But yeah. instead, it's like, and this is what I told her. I said, people always go for the person who's responding and not the person that caused an effect, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was the effect. The, the effect. cause was this. You didn't deal with the cause. And until you deal with the cause of things, you're not addressing the source. I mean, I feel like at this point, I'm knowing that, like I said, Natalie gets up, journals, meditates, and very I'm pretty sure she has gathered that information. Like I said, if she didn't, I know Easy saying she don't understand, and and I can't be the person that's not able to see this. But I think at some point between us as viewers and supporters mm-hmm. that are watching versus her talking to her mom and getting. You know, the because the, her mom, if you ever noticed, Mama Rhonda, yeah, Mama Rhonda is the person that people can, everybody confides in her. And she's not, she don't seem like she takes sides. She's almost. That's my mom, very neutral. She seems like, it. she seems like cause she's, that. She, that's where they get the grounded part from. Mm-hmm. Like the daughters, you know, um, um, Natalie and Justina, like they're just cool and very calm. And, and Josh is too. And it's like, yeah. they get it from mama Rhonda. so mm-hmm. when you call her she don't take sides she wants to know how you feel yeah if this don't feel right to you you need to but that's make the truth. decision she never tells to you how to, that's the truth yeah. you're supposed to handle it um a shout out to mama Rhonda, y'all she got a new channel you know what yes, i mean i need to subscribe to her mama it's called world. mama Rhonda's world yeah. yeah nala talks about that and mama Rhonda also told my poo happy birthday on she her did. birthday she so did. thank you for that very, and you very grounded weight. and you look good you i told look, zasha to tell good. you too i said uh mama Rhonda's losing weight she look good. Whatever i don't know she what she's doing she needs to send that recipe to me she's juicing and i was like okay because she looks really good but if if, if um jacina's there jacina's probably feeding her oh or course, uh, course, juicing with her juicing with her but so i'm gonna just say this I'm going to just say this. And on the light note, y'all. And on the light note. Uh, well, I'm going to say <laughs> that I love all of them. All Again, of them. I've been following Charlie. Easy since Easy was dating that little skinny, curly head mixed girl in the little bathroom. He used to do their skits in the bathroom with the little iPhone camera, I assume. And so there's a deep love, of course, for Easy as a tourist. I understand. Yeah. Um, and then Natalie is a Sagittarius, like my oldest sister, which who I love dearly and I understand her differently, <laughs> but I still love her. So it's like this beautiful thing where I'm like, okay, I love, I love but that. And you know what? I know we're supposed to be ending this, but the fact that Natalie is a Sagittarius, she's very, um, 
she's like your They're sister, blunt. but she's blunt. blunt. Yeah, and blunt. and actually, she don't feel like if she don't feel the same way another person would feel. So it could look like she's invalidating easy being that easy is. Well, right? Sagittariuses I... are masculine centered energetically, not right. masculine, but energetically. It's very. It's like a, it's almost like talking to like a guy. Or dealing with like a guy or a person that doesn't as feel emotional they're not gonna feel as heavy easy feels yeah. heavier so than natalie feels well it, it could because she because she has the right to feel that way yeah, but yeah, guys course. look at the video from jacina and brian's vlog where they prank easy and natalie and she makes and brian makes all disgusting pancakes <laughs> and the way it, you can look videos. at it right there you can look at their energy easy and natalie's yeah. energy together just close to lens like looking at him head on like and that wasn't the beginning of their relationship yeah though. and e and natalie was more like she tried to be cool and said they were okay but then she's like i don't like them they're like the way that she talked blunt, about them just, and it, justina nasty. was fake fake prank crying yeah and she was just like girl it's not even that serious so that's I, just how they are that's though. just how they're blunt and just yeah. real like they're honest about it yeah, and I appreciate that, and I think it's it's noble. All I'm saying, it, well, and that's why meditation is good because you can get outside of how you feel, right? And you can place yourself in possibly if you meditate yourself the right way that you can place yourself in. You know, you talk about empath and feeling somebody else's energy, or even think about it as as if like, what would you want somebody to do for you in that situation? Mm -hmm. What if what if Mama Easy mm -hmm. was Treating, treating you, you that, way. that way. What would you expect? For what would you want easy, easy to do? To do? Mm -hmm. You know. So I would say that's, how, that's, right? a good way to look. that's a great way to look at it because I always tell her people only understand when they understand it, and you yeah. understand it when you feel it yourself. And you don't want to understand it when the relationship is over. ending and, and ending because it doesn't have to because right. you're allowing your family to mess up your family. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I wanted to say something Look, about what you no... said. Hold on about the meditation thing. Hold on. The meditation thing. She made a really good point about meditating. And I'm going to just always say this. It's just like you can meditate and have the most beautiful meditation, right? And have the most transcendental moments. And just, it's all amazing. And yeah. rockets and stars are happening. You still Unicorn have to wake tears. up. Hold on. Yes. You still got to wake up. Yeah. You still have to wake up and put into action the things that you're connected to when you're under and you're connected to source. So let me always just say, meditation is beautiful, but if you don't wake up, and I mean sit up, shake out of it, and live your life as if you've been under and that experience happened, the meditation is kind of just like lipstick on a pig. <laughs> and you know? Actually, so I say that to yeah, say, yeah. all those things are beautiful, but you have to put them into action in the moment. And she and I talk about this all the time. Like, there's a time where you can know what to do. And, okay, I'm, I'm going to say this when they say this. But when I'm going to do this comes, when they do this. And or it comes, comes and, and it comes in a way you, that you're not expecting it to right, come. Right. Well, you're, you come you're, in with a different You don't know energy. what to do. You don't know how yeah. to respond to it. It's almost like it catches you off guard. The truth is, in that moment, that is the time that you will change the direction of their path. That's the time you'll set the stone, set the precedence, draw the line in that moment. And you can't miss that moment. If you miss that moment, the kind of the cycle kind of falls the back into gonna, the cycle, yeah, right? For you to and so it'll present itself again for bit. you to change the narrative. But you have to catch that moment. And in this, I feel like that's just Natalie standing up to her brother because again, what what would have fixed all of this? Number one, if, if like she said, if he had extended an olive branch and did the prank. But then when Easy got there and she's up in arms, have her some flowers. Well, maybe not. Have maybe if Natalie said, you know, "Hey, Josh, her... you need to apologize." Okay, we know it's a prank, but it's still her. Yeah, it's her to apologize. Feelings, right. But that would, and that's what I'm about to say. And also, Natalie addressing Josh, and not Easy. If you're addressing me, you're making it look like I feel I'm wrong for. But feeling once again, the way we don't know. We don't. Again, it could have been oh, edited out because this is but the I'm thing. Saying, well, like I said, would Easy still be that mad? It wasn't handled the way that made her feel secure and how it was handled. So no matter what we didn't see, yeah. for Easy to still be that upset, to be that pure and raw and emotion on her video means... And it could have been she... I don't know, because I, I didn't do my research yet. I don't know. You guys tell me, was it when she recorded, was that the day that it happened? Or was that the next day? I mean, I mean we don't know. The way really she felt, that. I almost felt like it was the same day. Well, because, you know, we always look at outfits and shit That's like that. true. I, don't, I, <laughs> I didn't do that much research. I don't know if it was the same day or the next day. I, know I she feel was. like it was the next day. Because she went on Twitter. No, it was the same and day. And then...
Twitter it's the same day. The it's same the same day. day. Look, she got on a jacket. She just took her jacket off and reported. She got the necklace and she got, I, the, she got the same necklace. She got the beanie on. on. Yeah, she got the, the necklace. Is what I would look at. I would look at the, the necklace. necklace. Is, the necklace is here. The beanie hat is there. She just took the jacket off. FYI, but she does wear all black all the time. Like I love us. black. We love black. <laughs> I love black. I probably so we the same do. thing. All the time. Look, Looks like. We love black, but we got on the white. But yeah. So okay. I say all these things to say I love everybody, and I do follow everybody, and I've followed Family Project since Easy came back with them and kind of brought them out and introduced them, and watched the, the Natalie and Easy go from friends to you know where they are now. I think all of it's beautiful. I'm just saying. That in call us, not that. But for real, for real. Call her easy. Call me, yes. face Tommy. I feel like we all need to get together. We can do our NDAs before we talk. Whatever works for you. You know, she's an amazing life coach. I'm a, an amazing life and business coach. Well, I'm not a life coach by trade. I'm a life she's coach, a life by, coach life. By, by life and experience. <laughs> because so, just, so yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a certified. celebrity chef. She's a celebrity in chef. But life. look, but this is the thing. But it doesn't matter if you have the tools and the knowledge. Yeah, that's all people need. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it doesn't to, matter to, about titles and all that stuff. Right. It just matters about your wisdom and where you are right. and emotional maturity and stuff like that. So I just think Natalie, just hone and understand that whether you do it now for easy mm-hmm. or you do it in the next relationship, you're kind of gonna always deal with this because you have an older brother. You have to set the precedence for him understanding that you're an adult now and you make your own decisions and that he should want and support your happiness, no matter how that looks to him. Just well, like you do with him. You. Yeah, just like you do with him and his and his girlfriend. You know, it's no different than you feeling the way you feel. You could feel however you feel. You don't. And if you did, you don't show it. So it's the same respect that you give to his life and his choices is that he needs to give to you and yours. Yeah doesn't matter who you're laying with yeah. love and love and or I can whatever. I, that's true. And I, and I can, like I said, understand the difficulty because if you're a person who don't judge, you're open. And, you know, when Jacina called you with pranks about her and Brian breaking up, she's like, hey, well, what happened? I mean, how did you feel? Same way, like, your mom yeah. raised you well. It's just one of these little situations where... It's a little situation, it's, it's a but different it can be a life situation. That's, that's yeah. my thing. Yeah, yeah. This can be a life thing, unfortunately, until you get it right. It's, I promise you, it's like putting clothes in the dryer. And it and doesn't matter if that person, that whoever, and this is anybody who watching, it does not matter if you and that person aren't... <clears throat> you heard that? Yeah, I hear It you. doesn't matter if you and that other person are no longer in a relationship or it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. That's not up for anybody to judge. Yeah, no, none of that matters. Set that standard no matter what. For, set that standard for you, mm-hmm. and then you carry that with you in your relationships, and you set that... For your family to have their understanding that they watch through the glass. Yeah. You still love them. You still reach over the glass yeah. and give them hugs and kisses. But you they guys watch through talk the glass. all the time. You guys still collaborate. You yeah. guys hang out for the holidays. I mean, and and I think what you have had and what you've had to do in the past is the same as what you have to do now. Um, it's just that you have to learn how to just listen to Easy and allow her to say how she feel. And you can, and I'm pretty sure you have. Cause I, 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 I gotta go a step further, you know. And ask Easy, what do you want me to do? But what do you I think gotta, I, I should do? I gotta evolve this comment. You can listen to Easy, but you have to understand, comprehend, and then act upon what you've heard. All those things have to happen for true healing but to at the begin. S- that's true. But at the same time, if it was a joke, I'm pretty sure she's like, "Okay, honey." Hopefully, she's like, "Okay, honey, I understand how you feel." It was a joke. What do you want? You know, what do you want me to do? Well, what would make you I mean, feel better? I, I mean, yeah. I because can. this is what I say. And I say this to my daughter. I love my daughter, but her pranks are not. Yes. Sometimes. They're overboard. They're overboard. And I'm always like, you know, if nobody laughs, it's not a prank. Like, I understand now the pranks are taking on a whole new meaning of prank wars. Yeah. You see all sorts of crazy stuff. But it's pranks I don't <clears> like. I don't know if yeah, you guys saw. Yeah, at the end of the pranks, yeah. though, you still see somebody it, really apologizing. Really oh, following that person yeah. down to say, "Are you really okay? I'm sorry. Let me show you. You know what? Let, y'all, let me turn this camera and off." It take, and, and it take and it take them a while to get it together, yeah, but they it's, actually it's, a, it's calm emotionally down. it's emotionally tasking when you do certain types of pranks. The difference is, an emotionally tasking prank shouldn't have happened by somebody who doesn't really support you and genuinely love you the way that you know, like the beef between them. He shouldn't have done an emotionally tasking prank to somebody who he has beef with. That shouldn't have been his sister who was at the end of it. She might be a little bit pissy, but she's going to laugh. Be like, oh, you got me good. 
Easy, but easy because there is beef. It didn't feel like a prank. It felt Not like that they're enemies, but they, it's just know, a lot of, like she said, it's a lot of unfinished there is behind business. the scenes and stuff like that. But again, you know, that's like, you know, I think we said this this morning. You know, if you got, if you talk about me for real, right? Yeah. And then we get on camera and you do a prank and you say all the stuff that you said about me in real life. I'm be like, that ain't that funny because you really <laughs> said that to me yesterday. We really got into a whole fight about that yesterday. So it takes the tone of the prank to not a prank. Yeah. You really felt that way and you use this opportunity to really say how you felt. And all, my only thing is he did it on easy and not Natalie. And I feel like there was some some directorial reason why he did that. Okay. It's okay. just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. I, yeah. I mean, I, I can understand, mm -hmm. but I can also understand that he could just, I don't, I mean. No, because why wouldn't you have pranked your sister then? Okay. You've been pranking Isaiah and, you know, dealing with your family. Easy's not family. Right, your immediate family. Right? Yeah, I mean, she's family because she's, she's with Natalie, she's a family right? Friend. But she's not family in the context to where everything's okay. Everything is copacetic, you know. Y'all have worked through the beef, and everybody's back on. Great yeah, because I feel like at that point, either, that's like different. I said, you could have extend the olive branch or say, "Hey, that would you know, beautiful." And, hey, I, I want us to do some pranks today. Jump in, extend yeah. the olive branch. Look, I'm sorry. And then it was a prank. It was hey, a prank, but, but hey, again, this is what have something we should do to show that you're genuinely sorry. You know, this is what I want to do. And, and again, to do it publicly, I think would be fine. Like, somebody's like, it's not their business. It, the truth is, it's not I their business. I hope he's apologetic about it at this point. Because it's really... Well, hopefully we'll see if he does a video. And again, he could apologize to Easy 16 times and never do a video and we wouldn't know, right? But my thing is when you're a content creator... Easy is so open. Well, this is the She's thing. When so, you're a content creator... It's such an open book. everything that you're doing, you're throwing out online, then everything you're doing that matters should be done online also. So if you offend her online, your apology to her should be as loud as the offense was. Okay. That's just how that works. If you offend me okay, in my face, then you should come back to me. If you talk about me on camera, you should apologize on camera. The you know the the apology should be as loud as the offense. So not that anybody's owed that, because again, you could do it personally and y'all can be good right now. But the truth is you still got everybody that loves and supports Easy and they're feeling bad and they're mad and then people are mad at you because you hurt Easy's feelings. It just doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. And again, yes, it does bring views. Yes, it does bring attention. But listen, it, abuse, views and, and attention is sometimes not worth risking relationships that are really real in your life. Because the truth is, you may get tons of money from YouTube, and then now you, you, you know, have broken, you got relationships. broken relationships within your real life, but you got a good paycheck for it. It's not it worth, worth it. it. There's other ways to do that. And not I do sabotage. hope that you do apologize truly, and not because you necessarily, you don't have to want them together, but you want your sister to be happy. And it's easy at this I think moment. that's what making her happy. I, I, I feel like that's what everybody has probably said. Yeah, that's point. the truth. If, if Easy's making her happy, that's it. Okay. Not what, oh, I think she should date a guy. Because, again, in the lesbian community, as a, as a feminine presenting woman, I get this all the time. Oh, you should date a guy. I got this guy friend you should meet. You. Are you going to have babies? You're going to have a baby? Nope. When are you going to have a baby? Nope. You're going to have babies? I can nope. Wait. Nobody wants to hear all that. And, again, if I'm happy with a woman and I don't ever want kids, guess what? Your job is to be happy and support whatever me it is. And support me. Yeah. Her word. Sure. Cool. <laughs> cool. All right, so we're going to, I think we're going to wrap, gonna, wrap it up. We're going to sign out. It's like I'm like the 30th time. I know, I know. She wrapped up my hair. She was just. I've just been messing with the whole um, time. So thank you guys for watching. I really want to know how you feel in the comments. I know we talked about a lot. We talked about a lot. So I would love to hear you guys' opinions, what you guys think. What is your view on it? Again, you know, it's being edited. So we, we're never seeing the whole story. The camera's also not in the face of 24 hours. So we're never seeing the whole story. But what we're seeing is what they want us to see, right? That's the truth, too. We're seeing what you want I mean, us to we see. Said, so what we, do you we're think seeing about what, what we can put together. This is like watching any other news yeah. outlet. When you You're watch the news, you kind of assume what you, you know. Well, you see what, what you, you see, think. and you assume what you assume based on what you see. Yeah. So, so, what do y'all think about what yeah. you see? Yeah, let us know. Make sure you guys subscribe to all of our channels, like I said before. Follow We're us gonna, on social media yes, follow platforms. Follow us on all our social media. You can actually start with our Instagram. I need you guys to is, subscribe, though. More than, yeah, and subscribe. More than anything else, subscribe, subscribe. So We're, we're, we're new to the YouTube, videos. but we have yeah. tons of I'm not new. I have singing videos on here from years ago. Y'all better go check me out. Check, check me, me out. out. Check, check me out. out. I got singing videos that I used to sing and record myself singing. So, I mean, it's way back. I mean, the day. family vlog but I'm just saying. is new to YouTube. I'm just saying. So, yeah, not me personally, vlog. not you personally. Yeah. We have other channels, like I said. Um, 
and we want you guys to subscribe to all of them hit us up on our instagram we're gonna send you guys off um We'll be back if somebody posts something anytime soon. I guess we'll be back. I'm and, hoping that and Josh says something I hope, soon. I hope, we, I hope we give some type of public apology. There's nothing wrong with that. Millionaires and billionaires do it. People in the public eye apologize publicly. And I'm just saying, this, this, I promise you, if you just consider it, even tweeting, the way you hurt the person, apologize the same way. That's honestly just the bottom. If you think about it that way, don't say I don't. I don't owe no So maybe he said. Hopefully he's setting up a, another video to apologize and let her know. Hey, it was really funny yeah. games. I want us to mend this. Bury the hatchet. This. Bury the hatchet yeah. and and do it in the same way you you threw her out there. Because again, you didn't have to post the video. You could have just done the video and be like, dang, that went wrong. Let me not post it. You still chose to post it. So your choice in. Well, and that's I it. think Izzy said that too, but, but we, got, we okay. got to close we gotta it go. out because this video is probably like oh my god, it's 50, not that long, fifty-eight uh, minutes long. Not that, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Think so? But um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao. And... What is happening? Oh my gosh, you're so annoying.